everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, we just kind of squeaked by last episode. That was a, we got real lucky, I gotta say, in that mission. It could have been really, really bad. Now, I haven't advanced the timeline yet. This is just picking up right from where the last episode left off. I'm actually recording it back to back with that one and the one before. But, um, yeah, I haven't done anything yet to these guys. So, I'm gonna advance the timeline, but before we do that, uh, I wanna go and bring up the Nidhogg um, because I think we're probably going to end up using that this match. Now we've got two versions we can use. We can use the Hyper Velocity Auto Cannon 20 version which is the one that we used in my last series which was okay. It was hit and miss and you know it was all right but then we've got the one that we were facing before which is the Gauss Rifle, the ER Smalls, you know any tank guided missile rack flares and light A missile rack. So I think we're going to go with this one um, it's I don't know if the firepower is going to be any better, but the one bonus thing of this is it can sit back and shoot at range Whereas the hyper velocity autocan 20 really couldn't we had to we had to kind of close with that So I'm gonna go with this guy. We're gonna go ahead and ready this one Use both these parts and confirm it and let's get it in the bay that mech is ready to fight, Commander. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much Now I haven't decided who I'm gonna replace yet I haven't decided if it's going to be the um, Cloud Buster or the Ultra 20. The Ultra 20 is kind of hit and miss. Cloud Buster does fairly good at range and it's nice for like people targeting it all the time. My fear now is that um, now that we bring forward the Nidhogg, that this thing is going to get targeted more so than the Nidhogg because it'll be easier to hit. So that's my fear. Um, but let's advance the timeline. We gotta wait five days anyway. We have to pass on this next mission, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna pass on this one. We're still we're still doing really really well here. So yeah, we'll be ready for the next mission here. And here it is. Launch it. Greetings, Commander. Come on. It's in. a three and a half as well. Um. I have no idea. I guess it's just a... We're, we're attacking, right? So it's going to be an attack mission. Um, yeah, see the difference between... Like, that's almost an extra 500,000. Like, 450,000 for two pieces of salvage, which I won't make. Let's go with the million, because I want to get my Argo updated a little more with Mech Bay 3. So this is going to give us an opportunity to do that, I think. So we're going to accept this. And then let's see what we're up against here. What do you think, Cloudbuster? Yeah, I think we go this route. And let's hope Mothman can... Well, you can milk a little extra speed out of it, which is good. I mean, the, the uh, Cloud Buster is relatively slow, right? 4.6, yeah. So at least we'll get more speed, which I think will be helpful because we'll get a lot more evasion and stuff. Minus one recoil. Ghost Rifle doesn't have any recoil, I don't think, so. Okay. Ooh, dropping the Nidhogg in gave us an extra half skull. Yeah. Command interface initiated. All right. Enemy dropship landed in the area nearby, right over there. Put a stop to their raid. What a glorious spot for mech combat. You think? I'm going to set up behind here because I have no idea what we're up against. I should have scoured the map a little more to see if they were going to get reinforcements, kind of, but it is what it is. All right. Commander. Well, what do we got over here? A Mackie. Well. On my way. Double time. So there's a few people that gave me. Oh shit! That guy's right there. Is that a longbow? It's a freaking longbow. Give me some suggestions for what to do for, with our Mackie. Two Mackies and a longbow. The 
Fuck, we're in trouble. This guy's gonna shred me. He's got no armor, though. Target confirmed. At least they're gonna be slow. Kind of. Oh, missed it. Commander? Give him a target. Let's give them a target. Uh, maybe not like a target like that, though, but maybe more like this so that we're facing them. Affirmative. So that they can shoot our sides. Um, that's actually not a bad chance to hit. Considering the Cephalus had such a ch horrible chance. May I interest you in some melting armor? Oh, man. I think he'd be interesting in, interested in it if you actually gave him melting armor, but... You didn't, so I don't think he's that interested. Alright. Okay, not bad. We might land one. Locked on target. No nope. Luck. Did he Standing just say by. what I thought he said? Did he just say fuck? Or was I just hearing things? Because I swear to God I heard him say fuck. I mean, that's what I was thinking, but I didn't think they would have that in the game. Oh, you know what? He said no luck. Never mind. I just heard the other thing. Yeah. Okay, laser hit. Dude, I'm so happy with this mech. The fact that the, the, the ER large is finally hitting. PPC, okay. Maybe it's just these three. I hear ya. Maybe it's just the three of them. Spread out, everybody Battle spread out. Battle. Shoot him! Shoot him! Fire everything! Oh, that looked like a pen. We know that was that's not the case. Oh it is, the arms hit. I'm sorry, I was staring at that guy's groin. Well, they got- oh, that's the longbow going now. Yeah, you run. You run. I better not be another longbow. Nope. Merkiva Merki- yep. Merkiva 8. Okay, let's push. Staying out of the trees this time, because really the longbow is the only thing that can do damage to us, and it's running, so. Affirmative. On arm hits. Ah, one. I'm here. Go chase that bastard down. Um. Oh yeah, you got to go through the trees, so. Okay. We'll get there. Good to go. Can you get eyes on him? You cannot. We want to engage both. Ma I don't think we do. I'm gonna stay down here a bit. We're gonna work. We're gonna work our way around until this longbow drops. Then we'll decide which Mackie to engage. Engaging the target. Yes. Yes, Commander. I await your command. Let's hold off on Taser Face for a moment. That's a back shot. We want the side. There we go. Acknowledge. If we can pull one of those arms off, then I'll feel a lot better. That's actually pretty good. Let's throw up an ATGM as well. Engaging target. Okay. Commander. We'll go. Okay, can't get a direct line of sight on him, but we can drop some missiles on him. Firing on target. Order. Mm, yeah. Hmm, yeah. 
There was a solid blue line here somewhere. I was sure of it. Oh, it's way back here. <sighs> Do I just go for the back damage? Go right up his ass? Oh, he's got like no back armor. Affirmative. Gonna detect ourselves here. That's pretty good. Let's go all of it. Let's see if we can just bring him down. Firing on What's that saying? A well-equipped light can easily pull Enemy down your down. your uh, your assault if you're not careful. There you go. There you go. So we got lucky with this matchup. At least these are older mechs. Weight doesn't matter here at the point. Hey, thanks for that. I appreciate it. Stops me from passing Waiting through those sensors. You, Move go up here. Turbo. We're going to start to cross this uh, this field to go after these guys now. I feel pretty confident on, on the, against these guys. AC-10. Yeah, we got to be careful, Time though. They can still inflict a lot of damage. We just have to make sure we stay nice and evasive and stay in the trees. Hey, stay in the crosshairs. Orders. Stay evasive, stay in the trees. No shooting, just running. I know got we got it. shooting, baby. We got some shooting right now. Roger. Okay, one of the ACs hit. Bunch of missiles. What now? Just in range. I think we'll take a pot shot at him and then we're gonna go on a roundabout her. Nothing. That's not your fault. So I think we want longbow parts out of this. I'm probably only gonna get one though. I gotta get more AMS ammo in that thing. Yeah. What's the sound of saving money? Brrrr. That's Roger. the sound of saving money. Especially when your armor is like really expensive to fix. Roger. Yes. Mess him up. Mess him up good. Uh, I'm gonna reserve you. I'm ready. You are not in a position yet. Oof, this guy's got some speed. Let's be a little brazen and see what they go for here. That's a lot of evasion. That's seven evasion chevrons. Um, I'm gonna hold off on this one, but we'll fire the Goss rifle. Yeah, the Goss, I mean... Not that great a chance to hit. That's a miss. I'm I, I'm I'm up and down between this and the um, the Cloudbuster. The Cloudbuster's got both ACs, but they're pretty damn accurate. I gotta say, they did a pretty good job of being accurate in most missions. They hit a bunch of low percentage aye, aye. chance to hit shots, and I know that's just a random number gen thing, but it kind of weighs into it when you're making decisions, right? Like how the Wolverine is hitting with this ER large laser, but um, the Griffin couldn't. We'll with go. pretty much the same, like, see what I mean? With the same chances to hit, pretty much, but it just seems to hit with it, so I go with it, right? What can I do for you? You just kind of got to go with what feels to be best sometimes. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. But we're gonna give the Nid Nid Nidhog a good fair shake. Uh, yep. I'm loving the combat shotgun on this thing too. I think it's 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 a nice little um Yeah, now you can move out. It's a nice little addition. I don't think that Mackie's fast enough to uh, track me to here, is it? Yeah, it's not going to get around on me.
Yeah, I'm well hidden. This guy's not going to get to me this turn, in a turn. He's too slow. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Hammer him. Locking on. Wow, I have no idea what you hit. Shooting the rock, probably. Yeah, giving him a target. Oh, I see they added the number beside the chevrons of evasion. Aye, aye. Derp. Yeah, I don't see things very often. Uh, people are like, yeah, you can, it's just right there. I'm like, yeah, I know it's right there. But I don't, I don't see that often. All right, firing on this guy again. the armor. Oh, I'm feeling better about this match, but I really shouldn't say anything because I'll probably get, get me, end up getting me killed. Right through the sensors, please. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Good call, I think, putting the, uh, I'll putting die. the Ultra and the, um, the AMS onto that uh, Helopolis. But we lose an in indirect fire, we gain in protection, so... Yeah, I guess we take the best chance to hit. Nothing. Give them everything you got. Who's up? Yes, Commander. Everybody's up. Don't mind getting in the open. Get a better chance to hit. Maybe we can bring this Mackie down this turn. He's hurting, so... Nope. Ooh, head hit. Bleeding out again. I will hold you off for a second. Confirmed. Getting, what, six this time? Five? Fair enough. Sixty percent? Yeah, we'll give it a shot. We'll get the blaze fires up, too. Nice. Yes, Commander. Mm, you're pretty toasty. Let's take a turn to uh, cool off here. Gotta find a way to get this thing a little cooler. But one turn pretty much drops all of the heat, so that's pretty nice. That cockpit, I keep thinking about changing the cockpit out, but the fact that it reduces... Wow. He's he's like, you're costing us the match. He just starts shooting his own guy. Ready for orders. I knew we were, shouldn't have brought you along. I said we should have brought the Black Knight. But no, you wanted to go with us. Boom! Waiting on you, Commander. I know I should be more careful by going in the trees, but this is just this match is just a matter of time at this point, so just trying to get a better chance to hit and it as soon as possible. There's one. Did you see that? Did you see it? Oh, I saw it. All out of SRMs, Commander. Roger. Just gonna walk it down, get a better chance to hit. Not bad. Not as good. So we'll take this one. And yep. Nice. Who do we have left? That's it? No, we got our Ultra 20 left. Nice shot, though. I'm here. That's not bad. Oh boy, here we go. You're going to be right on him next turn. 
right on him next turn. Let's get some damage in there. I okay, we got one on him. Man, I got so lucky getting that vehicle. Go this way. They seem to be fading back to this side, so we'll move over this way. Ultra 5 back on. Here it comes. How much armor does this thing have? Probably respectable. 75 left on the side. And not a lot of... in the way of that much armament. So let's see if we can get a good size shot in this guy. Moving to position. Chance will probably go up now that we're closer. Yep. Alright, let's hope we get the side. Okay, a couple hits. I hear ya. Not quite enough, but that's fine. Okay, on the Mackie. On that Mackie, baby. Yeah, the Griffin's just... The Griffin 2C is starting to feel a little better now, too. Roger that. You know? The addition of weaponry really helps, I think. Yes. Oh, I missed. Did it hit? It did. It did. Waiting for orders. It just looked like it didn't. Position confirmed. All right, keep firing. Might as well throw these on now. Cage. This guy doesn't got long to live. Oof. Is he gonna drop? Reporting. Yep. Short range missiles are out. Got the Wolverine left too. Gonna go for head hits. Awaiting orders. Uh, just walk it up. Oh, uh, wait. I think it's better if you sprint up. Here we go. Get the lasers a little closer. Help with the chance to hit. Let's see if we can grab that guy's head. Roger that. Didn't hit with much. What Did no. not hit with very much, but uh friggers the <laughs> moving to position. Whatever we really needed, the ultra's jammed. Ah, uh, that's fine. Sure. Well we got twenty-four chances to hopefully plink his head though. Locking in target. There you go. We hit our own guy, we hit everybody. Oh, his core exploded. There it is again. I guess they must have increased the chance. That happened to the battle axe several episodes ago. That was core explosion, baby. That was what that damage was from, the numbers that I saw. Commander. Yeah, we got real lucky. We could have totally been shredded there. Moving out. Nice and toasty though, holy crap. Can we shoot anything? We can't. I'm starting to cook. Yeah. Commander. That's my bad. <laughs> I didn't think that thing would cook off like that, but sure. All in ass. Let's get on this guy. He's almost gone. That side's almost done. I don't know whether it was from the explosion or from my lasers earlier. What can I do for you? You can't see him at all? No, we'll go this way then. Go in turbo. Go this way then. Friggin' alfalfa antenna on this guy's head. I'm receiving you. Alright. Side shot, please. I'd like you to finish him off with the Goss Rifle. It'd be, it'd be nice. 
Sixty percent's not bad. We'll throw up the we'll throw up that thing though. See if we get a hit. Nope. There you go. ATGM got him. removed. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right. So that's not bad. One point four million. Ooh, that's a nice bit of uh, bit of payout there for like the, one of the most super easy missions. Let's hope we get the the Mackey. I could just take this longbow part. I'm going to put it in there for now. Uh, we've already got Mackies. Um, what else? The incendiary ammo? We've already got one. Really? Two PPCs maybe? <laughs> uh, we've got one still. LRM 20. Do we have an LRM 20 yet? we got two of them. I don't know, it's gonna take another Mackie part, I guess. <sighs> Look at the garbage. Follow the leader ammo. Incendiary swarm ammo. Or is this improved swarm? Improved swarm. That might be worth it, actually. I'm going to grab those. And we got no Mackie parts. <laughs> oh my god, no Mackie parts. I mean, we've already got one, so it doesn't really matter. But still, like that's just like a weird... A weird-ass roll. I'll keep the M. I'm going to keep... Well, the LRM-20, I don't think we need. We've got two to sell that. And I don't think we need the PPCs, because we're not going to... Well... We were talking about putting them on the Mackie, I think, weren't we? I'll hold on to them. Okay. Well, that's way, way, way lower than the last mission, that's for sure. Holy crap, they didn't do anything to us, really. And we're going to be back for the next mission. Let's just go ahead and advance the timeline a couple days here. Uh, drives the forces for uh, Lyran Commonwealth sent to invade... <laughs> Leaving you to celebrate victory with your crew and a bonus from your employer. Well, there you go. Two fights and we won. That's awesome. So, LRM dead fire ammo, guided arrow ammo. So, one Saladin piece, C3 unit, 190 core sniper artillery. Well, that's not bad. Some heat sinks. So, yeah, I mean, sure. I guess it's just additional salvage. Let's just wait the one more turn for the rattlesnake here. I wrapped up that job you asked for, okay, let's have a look at the rattlesnake now. So we did well in that, on that mission. To the grease pit. Looks like Rasselhag's loving us now, too, so that's awesome. So let's have a look, quick look at the Jenner here. It's going to be a tricky, it's going to be a tricky refit, I think, because in order to get the stealth in, we're dropping the weight, which means, yeah, we're losing a ton, so it's not that bad. Uh, I'm going to need, do I have an ECM, though? There's the question. I got a warfare suite, but that's three tons. Um, will the, will this count as it? I think that counts as an ECM. So we could use that. Let's drop the rangefinder in here. Uh, we could go with compact life support. That'll give us an extra ton. And then fire control system. What do we put on this thing? Energy crit, maybe. Why were the fire control system improved? Improved gunnery and night vision? Uh, let's just go with that for now. I like the idea of having the night vision. And there's not much else we can do there. So let's see if we can get the um, stealth armor in here now. We can, okay. So yeah, we're still, I mean, we're still looking pretty, um, 
pretty light for the ability for weaponry and stuff. So if we pull off, I mean, two jump jets, it doesn't give us very much. I'm going to pull all this off for now just to see what we're working with here. So we're most likely going to want to put a double heatsink kit in here. I'm not using the clan. I mean, I guess it could use the clan double heatsink kit. I'm just saving it for when we get clan double heatsinks. I would rather use up these ones because they seem to be far easier to get. Um, how much would it cost to put a light engine in here? Because we got the money now. Not much. So if we go... We don't have a lot of lasers, that's the thing. I mean, we could just go all mediums. Like, just load this thing down with medium lasers, right? If we go six mediums... What's our heat sinking at now? It's still really good. We could go six mediums. That's a three ton weapon though. ER small blaze fire. It's got a jam chance though. I hate the fact that I don't like not being able to fire stuff. Like if I've got it on my mech, I want to be able to shoot it. I don't want it to jam on me and then just be like, oh, well I can't use it now. What about a narc launcher? Two tons. Do we have the ammo for it though? We do. So that would be three tons. We could add a narc launcher. And then it'll help the entire lance out. So six mediums and a narc launcher? I mean, the best way to do it would be to go to eight eight mediums and an extra heat sink. But then we'll be overheating all the time, right? So let's play around. Let's try it. Let's go with the... Um, I know I said I was going to let you guys make a decision on it, but I think I want to go this route. I'm going to move the medium to the CT. Spread the stuff out a bit. And then put... narc ammo in there. And maybe we go with... Hmm... I think maybe we do that. And then drop a little bit of armor. Something like that, maybe? I hesitate to pull off the back armor though. Maybe we take a little shave a little more from the legs. I mean it is very rare that I get legged. But I do get attacked from behind a fair bit. Actually to save a little bit of sea bills, we could just leave that medium laser in there. I mean two bonus gunnery, six medium lasers and a narc launcher with stealth armor. It's actually not bad. Like, I don't hate it. The armor is actually relatively respectable for for what it's going to be doing. It's better than the Cephalus. And it's outputting about the same amount of damage, but it's not as fast. We're 7 here, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got another 3.5 tons for bolt-ons. So, I mean, we could go with the bolt-on tandem times two. And, I mean, we could go remote sensors as well. Or chaff countermeasures. Reducing the target accuracy.
Area effect damage within 90 meters, of, which means we could, if we're, if we're close, it'll affect us as well. How many shots does this thing have? It's got three, right? Three, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, you know. That might not be too bad. I don't really, I wish I had targeting computer stuff, but I don't. I'm going to have to make some jumps to a couple planets that I know that, that sometimes have them. Yeah, see, these are nice too, right? But the armor weight increase is just ridiculous. 20%? I haven't been the recipient of a ton of through armor criticals. There's been a few times where I have but not enough to warrant an increase in 20% weight for all my armor. Yeah, you know, I think this is the plan. I think this is what we do with this guy. We've got plenty of sea bills, so we might as well. So let's go ahead and validate that. We're going to jump off of here anyway, because we're at a one and a half skull planet. We're going to go find oh, a better planet to find some better missions. So we'll get that going. Then the Talos... We wanted to up the speed in this, but we were unable to because we just don't have the weight. But I know we said we were going to spend the money on Argo stuff, but we had the Clan XL. That's almost 10 tons. Um, and we used our 250 core in the... Uh, damn it. Oh, we got another one, though. That's going to increase our speed to 5.8 or 5.7. Yeah, see, they made it. They've. I don't know what happened with Rogue Tech, but there's an error. I'm finding there's an error with the calculations and movement. So with Battletech, the calculation and movement was the, the engine's rating divided by the mech weight. So at 250 core, right, with a 50 ton mech, the, you, your walk would be 5. And then it's it's 150% for your run value, so it would be 2, rounded up, would be 2, 8. That's how it would, or sorry, 5, 8. That's how it would be done. But for some reason, it's giving me 5, 7. And it's always rounding down for some reason. I'm not exactly sure if that's a Rogue Tech thing or what it is, but I always go by what Battletech says, so that should be 5, 8 um, at 250. So wait a minute. We could pull... both of those off why is our alpha strike 30 35 how is the alpha strike 35 I guess it is 8 it would be 16 if I fired twice and 12 So it's like 40-something, really, is what it is. Yeah, so, I mean... I've got a bit of weight to carry other stuff. Now, what am I going to carry? That's the question. We want to make some changes to this thing? Thunderbolt 10 is, what, 10 tons? 6 tons, that's why I'm using it. It's nice, 60, 60 pinpoint damage for, t for 6 tons is pretty nice. Um... But what else would I throw in there if I was going to do anything? That's 13. We got one, we've only got one and a half tons, so... Um, maybe up the SRM 2 to a 4? Do we have a 4? We do. We've got the Irian 4 too. It's got the 2 recoil, though. Less chance to be shot down, but... I don't want to incur the... Well, what's my recoil on this thing? It's whatever the pilot is, I guess. I know I'm at least minus one, and minus one recoil with, with, with the flak. So we could we could go with that. Less chance to be shot down. 
Still two tons, right? Yeah. So we pull you, put you in, and then I think I want to pull this out, and I think we can go... Oh, it's iffy. I, I want to get another ton of ammo in there because this is only 10 turns of firing or at least a half a ton of something. Yeah, I mean, we got Inferno too, but I wish I had a half a ton of Inferno. We've got some support hard points. Um... Hmm. 1.3 million. We still got the money for it. That was a very lucrative past couple of episodes. I gotta say, those missions were really good, really good for us. Yeah, I don't know. I wish I had a half ton of armor or a half ton of ammo for the SRMs. So we've got Advanced Optics Mark III, which is basically for long range. What if we swap out the SRMs for LRMs? Is it worth it? These have been doing good damage, I have to say. This is five. So we could swap out the SRMs. Three, five, five. It would be an LRM-10, basically, is what we'd be throwing in. We'd be cutting our damage in half. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I think we stay with the SRMs, and I think we need to put another ton of ammo in, as much as I hate to say it. Well, have we been going long in matches, though? Not really. That's why I said half a ton would be perfect. Maybe we just leave this in for now. And that'll that that will remind me that that's what we need to um, we need to do is we can swap that out. So if I just adjust the armor slightly now, like that, maybe one more on each leg, so we can go through minefields, <laughs> and then a little more in the back CT, like that. So what do we do? We just basically tapped out. Added two more SRM tubes and cranked up our speed a bit, which I think is worth it for 1.3 million for this guy. This guy's always been slow. <sighs> Doesn't matter. can't do the two MML fives and we don't have any any MRM ammo do we we do not and we're really lacking ammo all right I'm just gonna go with this worst case scenario I mean we figure out another loadout but now that these are being repaired we got 10 days to the financial report I'm gonna jump systems um, I'm going to go look for another fight somewhere. Hopefully there's another one spawning in a, like a three skull system. But it's weird that we got three and a half, like this is a one and a half skull planet. But the matches were three and a half skulls. And I don't know if they match it up to your level plus a little bit or what it is, but don't know. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.